In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the European death knot or the flat overhead bend. This is one of the acceptable ways to attach two climbing ropes together to extend a rope that is easier to remove and take apart than the double fisherman's bend. But I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video the important thing about this knot and what not to do. So what you do is you grab both ends here and you get a lot of tail, like 12 to 18 inches. You flip it over and just like tying a plain Jane overhand knot, you bring both of these through here, pull it there, and then you begin dressing it and pull and pull and pull. And with a low bulk knot, you make sure that it is nice and symmetric without any twists in it at all. And that over, flat overhead bend with 12 to 18 inches or 30 to 45 centimeters is totally acceptable to fully extend a rope because it won't collapse on itself no matter how hard you pull. That's huge and it's way easier to take apart than the double fisherman's bend. Now this is a part I promised you. Under no circumstances whatsoever your life absolutely depends on never, ever, ever using a flat figure eight bend to attach two ropes. You think, oh, the overhand knot's good. The figure eight is better. No, you will die. I promise you, you will die if you use this. Because even though the figure eight's a great structure for a lot of other knots, to extend a rope in this fashion under extreme loads this knot will actually capsize. Let's see if I can get it to do it. Oh, it's, you can already see it's starting to collapse here. If I pulled on this and fell, this knot would actually capsize and go zzz, and whoever was on the end of it would die. So never, ever use that to extend a rope. Instead, use the figure eight follow through, the Flemish bend, the, but only the European death knot if you want to tie your ropes this way. And they call it the European death knot for a reason, because you think, oh, that's all it needs. Well, that's apparently all it needs with huge amount of tail. And this is not so bulky compared to the double fisherman's. And you can literally rely on your life on it. It's scary, but it works. I talk about that in the most critical caveats in my book, and the flat overhead bend. And we're not and never to use the flat figure eight bend unless you want to die. These are the knots to use. Everything in this video is in the links below. Thank you very much for watching.